Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. There is a very chilling verse in the New Testament. If the righteous one is scarcely saved, where will the ungodly and the sinner appear? Our salvation was purchased at an enormous cost, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. It is not a cheap grace. The Apostle Paul recognized this and said, By the grace of God I am what I am, and his grace toward me was not in vain. Jesus said, Strive to enter in through the narrow gate, for many, I say to you, will seek to enter and will not be able. And we must, through many tribulations, enter the kingdom of God. We are living in a time of everything being shaken. Yet once more I shake not only the earth but also heaven. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us have grace by which we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. For our God is a consuming fire. This is not a time to play church. Get serious. Watch and pray. Stay alert. Jesus said, I have set before you an open door, for you have a little strength, have kept my word, and have not denied my name. Let's pray. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly, in this present age, looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people, zealous for good works. In the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ, amen.